my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you and I am so pleased to be sitting here and filming normal makeup because don't get me wrong I absolutely love doing the Halloween stuff and I love being creative and that type of thing and I'm really thinking about incorporating different creative looks into my channel so if you guys think that, that would be a good idea leave a comment in the description box or just give this video a like because I really think that I'd quite enjoy doing that. But anyway, so I really wanted to do a really nice dramatic makeup look for you. So if anyone's been watching The X Factor recently, you guys know that Cheryl's makeup is just incredible. I absolutely love her looks. I want to find out who her makeup artist is though. But if you guys know, then just leave it down below in the comment box so I can go and stalk them on Instagram. Because I absolutely love the way her makeup turns out. She just kills it all the time. And literally, her eyes are just popping they're so smoky and sexy and i absolutely love that look so i kind of wanted to recreate something similar to that today so um again this is something very dramatic something very glamorous and you guys know that i love a bit of glam so i use the smashbox with exposure palette and this palette has been out for quite a while now and i think they also do another palette called the double exposure but this one is just oops. But this one is just really, really good. It's got loads and loads of different colours in it. You can really make nice dramatic looks with it or quite neutral looks with it. You've got loads of shimmers at the top and mattes at the bottom and a mixture of cool and warm tones. So it's such a versatile palette for so many different looks. So I really, really hope that you guys should enjoy this tutorial. If you're interested in finding out how I do it, then just keep watching. So to start off the look, I'm going to be taking my MAC Paint Pot in Self Doka and I'm just going to be putting that all over the eyelids and up towards the eyebrow and that's just going to help prime the eyelids and also counteract any discoloration. So now going into the Smashbox palette and a really fluffy brush, I'm just going to be taking that kind of peachy brown shade and I'm just going to be using that as a transitional colour. So I did take this quite far up towards the eyebrow just because we are going to be blending out quite a few shadows into the crease and I wanted there to be a nice gradient of colour. So now I'm going to be going back into the palette and taking this cool brown shade and with a more denser brush, this is the MAC 217, I'm just going to be putting that into the crease as well and as you can see there I'm flicking it up at the outer corners just because I really wanted to create a nice winged look and I did go in and put some tape on the outer corners and that's just going to help create that nice winged look as well and also clean up any mess that might be there from when we're blending out all the eyeshadows just so we've got a nice clean crisp line. So now going in with the darker brown in the palette, I'm going to be taking a more tapered ended brush and this one is by Zoeva, I think it's their Lux Petite brush and I'm just going to be focusing that on the outer half of the crease and really making sure that's nice and blended out and so we've got a nice gradient of colour there and that's just going to add a little bit more drama to the whole look and then I'm going to be taking another brush and spritzing it with a bit of Fix Plus and I'm going to be going in with this really beautiful, it's almost got like a copper in it so it's like a coppery brown shimmery colour from the palette and I'm just going to be putting that on the two thirds of the eye and leaving the inner third of the eye nice and clear because I'm going to be going in with another colour just to brighten it up. So now going back into the palette, I'm going to be taking this really beautiful sort of champagne gold shimmery shade and with my MAC 242 brush, I'm just going to be putting that on the inner third of the eye and that's just really going to help open up the eye and make it a little more awake. So I did blend those two shimmery shades together on the middle part of the lid just so we got a really nice gradient of colour there. And then taking the black from the palette and with a pencil brush, I'm just going to be laying that on the outer V of my eye and then I did go back in with my petite crease brush and just blended everything out just so we got a really nice smoky out half of the eye. Now to marry all the colours together, I'm just going to be taking that fluffy Zoeva crease brush and with the transitional shade that we put in there at the beginning, I'm just going to be blending all the colours together just so we've got a nice beautiful gradient of colour up towards the eyebrow. So now taking this MAC liner brush and with my favourite gel eyeliner which is the Inglot one, I absolutely love it because it stays on all day and I get really really watery eyes as well and this just does not budge, I absolutely love it. So with that brush I'm just going to be drawing out a wing and I did keep it again quite close to the lash line and on the inner half of the eye I kept it quite thin and on the outer half I extended it into a wing and kept it quite thick just because I really wanted to create that nice smoky cat eye look and keep all the darker colours on the outer half of the eye. Now 
to add a coat of mascara, I'm going to be taking my 17 HD Falsify one and I'm just going to be adding that to the top lashes. And for false lashes today, I'm going to be taking these ones by Velour in the style Winging and then to move on to the face. So for foundation, I'm going to be taking the NARS Sheer Glow and the Too Faced Born This Way. And I spoke about this in my last video. I absolutely love mixing these foundations together. I think you just get such a beautiful, flawless look to the skin and it just creates that really nice dewy look as well so it makes your skin look really nice and healthy and also it covers up any imperfections that you might have so I absolutely love these two together I think they're a fantastic combination so I'm just going to be taking my damp beauty blender as always and blending that out all over the skin now taking my concealers, this one is the MAC Pro Longwear mixed with the Laura Mercier High Coverage Concealer and you guys must think I'm nuts because I mix all my stuff together, like honestly I'm some sort of like crazy scientist in my room sometimes, so I just mix all makeup products together to come up with my own concoction, but I'm really really enjoying these two together, you just get the maximum coverage for underneath the eyes and God knows I need that at the moment because I've not been sleeping right. <laughs> so I'm just going to be taking my beauty blender and blending out the whole thing and then going in with this Ben Nye translucent powder I'm just going to be baking the concealer just to make sure it sets in place and it doesn't crease so again just using my damp beauty blender to apply that I'm going to be heavily packing that underneath the eyes and this is a really really brightening powder so Cheryl has that kind of like massively contoured chisel cheek look going on so I really wanted to recreate that so I did go quite strong with the contouring today so it does look a bit strange but once it all comes together it will look all right <laughs> so now I'm going to be taking this Chanel Lumiere bronzer and this is a cream based bronzer and with my Nancy brush I'm just going to be putting that in the hollows of the cheekbones around the jawline around the hairline and just the places that I would normally contour with so while that concealer is baking away I'm just going to be packing that all on the face and really making a nice contoured look with it so now I'm just going to be dusting away the excess powder that was underneath the eyes and anything that was left on my brush I'm just going to be putting that over the t-zone just to set the foundation into place and make sure it didn't budge and then I'm just going to be going in and penciling in my eyebrows and I am using a few new products so if you guys want to see an updated brow routine just let me know in the comments box or give this video a like and I can do that for you and then with this Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronze I'm just going to be taking my MAC Geo Fibre Brush and I'm just going to be going over the places where we put the cream based bronzer on earlier just to intensify the contour even more and now I'm going to be going into the Makeup Revolution palette and taking a mixture of these two blusher shades and I'm just going to be putting that onto the cheeks and really making sure that's nice and blended out and then for highlighter I did go in with the Mary Luminizer by The Balm and I just put that on the high points of the cheekbones also my nose, my cupid's bow and a little bit on my tear duct area just to open up the eyes a little bit more and I absolutely love this highlighter it's one of my all time favourites so I would highly recommend getting this and I just really wanted that nice glow to the skin so now to create that really nice smoked out look that Cheryl's got going on I took the darker brown in the palette and going back in with a petite crease brush I'm just going to be blending that out underneath the eyes and bringing it quite far down and then with the black in the palette I'm just going to be pushing that up the lower lash line just to add a little bit more intensity to the whole look and then just to line the inner half of my waterline with some black coal eyeliner so then after that I did go in with another coat of mascara to my bottom lashes and then I moved on to the lips so now taking this 24-7 Urban Decay lip liner in the colour Liar, I'm just going to be putting that all over the lips as a base and then to top it off with some gloss I'm going to be taking this one also by Urban Decay in the colour Nuna and I'm just going to be putting that all over the lips as well just to complete the whole look. So I really really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial, thanks so much for all the continued love and support on my channel, please don't forget to click that subscribe button if you're new and click the like button because it really does help out my channel and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.